Hi, say Ali. My name is Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at IELTSpodcast.com. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for getting involved on the course before your exam. Uh, so we will be working together on your corrections. Uh, and I will do as much as I can to guide you and suggest some ways that you can improve with the feedback before your exam. So the first two essays, we have two task two essays to start with. So some people think schools have to be more entertaining. Others think their sole purpose is to educate. Which do you agree with and use reasons? So this is looking really nice. Well done. Good start. It's undeniable that the single most aim of the school is to educate its students. Okay, uh, we wouldn't, I mean, you might say in spoken English, the single most aim, um, but in written English, I would just go the single aim or the single most, Im <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, maybe the single most important aim, aim. Uh, in which case, I don't think you need single. Maybe just go with the most important aim of, the sc of schools. So you're talking schools in general here, not one specific school. Is to educate its students. Uh, however, many people vouch that schools should incorporate entertaining ways for overall development of, okay, uh, that they, so you can use the pronoun they, uh, you don't need to repeat schools, should incorporate entertaining ways for uh, the overall enjoyment of their students. Now you've already said students in here, so you could have their pupils uh, instead. It's very important that you show immediately as much vocabulary as you possibly can, so avoid repeating yourself. Here, equally, because this word is in the title of the essay up here, I would strongly recommend that you do not use the words, the keywords, obviously, that are in here. So you could have, instead of that, you could have stimulating, challenging, or interesting. All really nice adjectives, which would work really well there. And immediately show the examiner you have control of vocabulary, okay? I strongly advocate that enjoyable activities could play, so watch out your noun verb agreement there, a crucial role in improving students' classroom engagement and their learning. Okay, so you've got improve here and improve here. Uh, this is what you should pick up in editing. When you read your essay before you send it to me, you should pick up these things and then make sure you think, oh, hang on a minute, that's repetition, let's change that. Uh, so you could have improving students' classroom engagement and maximizing the learning. Okay, that would work quite nicely there. Uh, otherwise, nice introduction, well done. So learners who often absorb information via traditional methods. So you, it's a relative clause here, so you need to, because it's non-defining, you need commas. Who often absorb information via traditional methods. S, and then comma there, and then find. So again, noun verb agreement, you've got a plural uh, noun, subject, and so you want the plural verb. It's difficult to focus on key subjects and their attention span is limited. Okay, you could put here, it's often limited. These little words here are quite nice in academic style writing. Specifically, if the memory-based method is used throughout the school life, it may result in disinterest and boredom. Good, very nice sentence, and I really like this use of may. Fantastic, excellent work. For instance, a survey in India reveals that almost 60% of schoolgoers fail to remember important information on STEM subjects as they find it uninteresting. Good. Uninteresting, you might put here, and it difficult. Uh, hence, in the long run, this method could be harmful for students in providing and processing key data. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely paragraph there. Really good work. Um, I'm a great fan of using uh, this may. Here you could put even like could instead of can. It's very nice style of writing. Uh, that's great, super work. Furthermore, this problem could be solved. Uh, now, not furthermore here, if you're gonna suggest a solution to a problem, you need however, not furthermore. So however, this problem could be solved, and I would definitely go could here, including interactive study techniques. Uh, give me an example, such as, yeah, including film or video, uh, including more interactive classrooms. Tell me what you mean here. By doing this, the students uh, could have, now here I would 
the gopher would have, because it's hypothetical. You're making a suggestion, would have a fun learning experience, thus improving the overall concentration. Moreover, it could bring ease uh, in recalling difficult information. Okay, uh, so it could um, bring ease in. Mm. I would say uh, improve or accelerate, which might be quite nice. Uh, recalling difficult information. For example, a study by Mumbai suggested that you don't need a comma there. Learning through games, dry, you don't need a comma there. It's not a relative clause. Drastically improved the academic performance of students by by mm, getting. I wouldn't use that. I would say by achieving them uh, or earning them. Sorry, earning them good grades. Interactive teaching methods, plural, could also benefit those who struggle to pay attention. Good. In addition, uh, games can foster. Okay, I don't think you need all this information here. Um. Or join it together. It feels like a lot of short sentences or put in this uh, as children learn. I could definitely get that into the plural. Children learn through interacting with objects and communicating with peers. Yeah, good. Very nice, good. I like your arguments, very clear arguments, which is great. Uh, what you haven't done here is address the other side of the coin. So in this kind of essay, you need to have one sentence or more that acknowledge this side of the argument. You're only arguing one side, which is okay, but at some point you must recognize the other side. So I would put this, um, this problem could be solved. So rather than this, I would maybe put, I uh, maybe, I don't want to interrupt your argument, maybe in, uh, put it into the conclusion. So here, although there is no doubt that teaching for exams is key for uh, access to university uh, and maybe you could say access to university and careers, yeah? Okay, teaching deaf, and then you could, I, I reiterate my view, that would be fine, okay? So I think that's really, really important, just to acknowledge the, it's called concession, just to acknowledge the other side of the argument. I'm gonna put it there just so you remember that. That's really, really important. But otherwise, it's a nice essay. Good work on the vocab, nice work on the grammar. We might add in a conditional sentence that would work quite well in here. Um, so keep an eye open for adding grammar. We'll talk about that as we go along. Do your second essay here, doing an enjoyable activity with a child can develop better skills and more creativity than reading. So we're kind of doing a comparative here. To what extent do you agree and use reasons and examples? So in today's contemporary era, mm, that's a bit strange. Um, I mean, I think you might say among today's parents, uh, something like that. A variety of teaching techniques have emerged to enhance the skills and knowledge of children. Now, this for me is not just school. Okay, if we read it very carefully, it's not relating to school. Um, it's more the parenting skills. Um, so I think that's quite important. Now, a variety of teaching techniques have emerged. Teaching and learning techniques you could put here to enhance the skills and knowledge of youngsters. Okay, it's often argued by some that entertaining games improves competency. However, reading is preferred by others. Uh, yeah, I think that sentence is a little, I know, can see you're sort of paraphrasing, but I think we need to get into it a bit more uh, by some uh, advisors or education advisors you can have that entertaining games I mean, it's not really entertaining games here. It's doing an activity as well as participating 
in sport improves competency right <clears throat> is competency the same as creativity but mm, okay and skills building you could have um, however reading is preferred by others you'd have to have some and others in that argument um, I don't like the word fun it's not very high level or essential yeah I agree with that okay uh, on one hand participating in Okay, so I put participating here, but you could here you could have it joining instead. Okay, uh, often used to improvement in skills and creativity. This not only increases the attention span of the child, but also helps in grasping interesting things. Mm, what do you mean grasping interesting things? I love grasping. Uh, you could have new knowledge and and. Uh, understanding of the world. I think we need to kind of get this bigger than just school. Okay, so if I put understanding of the world, that might be, that kind of broadens it out a little bit. In other words, it helps toddlers. You don't need the. In remembering thought provoking lectures. Now, careful. <clears throat> a toddler is under five, and a lecture is for university students. So you need to kind of make sure this language matches up correctly. Uh, furthermore, music is easily accepted and a fun way to learn new things. Um, I don't think you need that sentence in there, but you need to join this together. New things as, so tell me why is music good, as music helps youngsters or children to relax their brain, so it helps somebody to relax their brain and understand the topic more easily. For example, learning the numbering system in the form of phonics songs have shown quick and better results. So quicker comparative there, and better results than those learning via traditional methods. Thus entertaining so adjective there. Activities are a better option. Okay, we can do we've got better there, yeah. Are a more varied, more creative. Option in developing skills. So again, vocabulary, uh, be careful, show me the vocabulary that you know. Okay. On the other hand, educators uh, believe that reading is an, an, another option for expanding skills. Okay, I wouldn't just go another. If you would, if it's the other side of the argument, are crucial, you can go a bit stronger here. Uh, option for expanding skills through this. A child can increase their vocabulary, which uh, here I would have could help them gain competence in further studies. In addition, reading stimulates focus. So we want long sentences here. Don't go for a short sentence, go for a longer, what we call complex sentence. That's what the examiner is looking out for. Engage in a reading activity. He avoids distractions around him and concentrates on the story. Uh, this skill, this skill and focus might ultimately enable a child to score well in their examination uh, good moreover reading books are recommended by educationists plural as they may have pictures in them and help kids understand the topic okay kids is a little bit informal but we would put youngsters or something like that understand the topic um i don't think you need that extra sentence but you could have extra topic and polish their imaginary ideas, okay? So sometimes it's a little bit repetitive, the writing. Um, so topic um, and polish, but that is nice. So I love some of the vocabulary you've got, some of the words, your ideas are good. And just in, just in terms of, it helps the coherence if you keep it tight, if you avoid the repetition, if you have longer sentences, that will help you score higher in coherence and cohesion because it's a easier read for the examiner. To conclude, uh, new methodologies emerge uh, for mastering skills and imagination. All things considered, reading and education activities are both crucial, good, in the overall development of a child, enjoyable activities, ease, watch out, the mind and increased concentration while reading improves language skills. Okay, good. So you've kind of argued in favour of both. Um, I think that's really nice. 
um, you've used a lot of reasons to back yourself up. Be careful here. This is to what extent do you agree? Uh, you need to, this is, so this is an opinion essay. You've put it here, but and again in your conclusion, you need to have here, I strongly uh, argue that, or I strongly feel that. Uh, to what extent means you need to have this word here strongly, okay? Or uh, firmly, something like that, okay? Uh, but really good, great start, well done. I uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, make a note of any errors um, and make a note of the kind of key things that I've been talking about today and then go through the next uh, modules and look forward to your next essays. Thank you.